Hello everyone, Lawrence from Unicorn Reviews here with the shiniest of all boxes. Um, we're, today we're reviewing the Gigabyte HD7970, which is a 3 gigabyte, um, you know, one of the new, well the new, they're out, they've been out there for pretty long. So this card comes in at 350 euros, which is just under um, GTX 770 money. Um, given that it outperforms a 680 and a 770 is just a rebranded 680, it will outperform a 770 as well. Plus, it overclocks a lot better. So you got three gigabytes of GDDR5. You got your DirectX 11. You know all the usual stuff. It also comes with uh, three games with the uh, AMD Never Settle bundle. So that's pretty cool. Let's see what we've got on the box here. So you got your cooler, how the cooler works, and a lot of marketing stuff, which. Quite frankly, I do not care about. Let's, um, yep, pretty cool that I got. So, as you can see from the box, it's not the smallest of graphics cards. Because, you know, it is AMD's top model at the moment. So, in here we have graphics guide, quick guide driver disk, get the latest drivers from the AMD website or the Gigabyte website. Uh, let's see what else we've got. A little crossfire bridge, which we're not going to use. Also, if I see anyone use these, seriously, I'll come over there and kick your ass. If you can afford a graphics card like this, you're not going to use a cheap ass, no brand power supply. Anyway, what else have we got here? We've got mini display to display, but like 90 degree angles. That's pretty cool. Um, that's pretty much it for the accessories. So let's get the card out of the box then. And nope, nothing else in there. So the graphics card, and this is such a big card, it's really hard to actually do this on camera without breaking anything, which, let's face it, that's the main goal here, not to break anything. Alright guys, there we go. This will, this will be what it looks like. Come on, focus. Focus. Come on. Okay, so it's not going to focus. So it just has the Gigabyte branding here on the side. You can see pretty densely stacked fins throughout the thing. It comes with an 8 pin and a 6 pin. You got the nice uh, Windforce 3X cooler which are all 92 millimeter fans here which are really going to keep the card cool. Um, the cable there is a black one so you don't have the ugly little cables hanging through your system. As you can see it is pretty densely um, packed these fins. On the back you got your HDMI, DVI and then two mini display ports. Um, Gigabyte for some use reason, which is the reason for that, is probably that it's their color scheme. Uh, they still use black PC, uh, blue PCBs instead of black ones or even white ones nowadays seem to be cool. But I kind of like it. So um, you got your little brace here to cool the VRMs, and everything should be pretty well cooled. So that's um, that's that really for a quick look around the card and the unboxing. And I'm now gonna install it in a system. Test it at stock speeds, then overclock the hell out of it, and see what it does. Alright everyone, we have just ran um, 3D Mark 11, and so you can see our scores here. So we got, um, you guys can read, right? So that was with the graphics card, uh, with the stock clock of 1 gigahertz which is the stock clock on this graphics card here it's not the gigahertz model because you know gigabyte made a gigahertz model before AMD came up with the idea of making one to beat the 680 so stock this card will be the 680 and therefore also the 770 uh, but that was with stock power and we got highest temperature we've got was 59 degrees um, these values aren't right, I think. I have to say it never made a lot of noise. And I am going to run um, one benchmark 
completely on screen so you guys hear the card as well and you hear the little bit of coil wine there is so that's for um, 3d mark now I'm gonna run all benchmark the cat setting so 720p I'm actually gonna run you guys throughout the entire benchmark so you can hear if there is any noise coming from the graphics cards I'm also gonna close my window so there's no background noise Alright guys, <coughs> excuse me, um, right now I'm going to put the camera closer to the graphics card itself, so you guys have an idea of the noise it makes. So, it's not too bad really, uh, sometimes when loading there is a bit of cold wine. So yeah, I'm just going to wait now for the benchmark to end. And then after this one we're going to be running Unigen Heaven. And once that's done we're going to start overclocking. Alright guys, um, so we got 12,432 on uh, Catzilla 720p. Which puts me in 420... Uh, 30... No... Yeah, 30 second place overall. Um, so we're just gonna take a print screen of that and I'll be going on to Unigen Heaven then. And let's see what type of score we get there. And there we go guys, Unigen Heaven 4.0 um, with on 1080p, 8 times anti-aliasing, uh, maximum quality and settings and everything. So, 871 this time. Um, safe, maybe right there on my desktop would be good, okay, oops, yeah, okay, so, we're now going to quit it, I'm going to overclock the system, no, actually, wait a minute, I'm not going to overclock it just yet, there's that coil wine again, um, max temperature right now, was still 59 degrees so the cart runs incredibly quiet and incredibly um, cold however sometimes it does have a bit of coal wine and this is uh, before we do the overclocking so it's clock time now all right guys so with overclocks we now get a score of 971 which is 100 points extra just by playing with it for half an hour so you know, you'd be an idiot not to overclock. And I have to be honest though, um, I was kind of disappointed with the overclocking capabilities of this specific card because I had the chance to play with one earlier on and that one reached uh, 11.75 on the core. This one only does uh, 11.10, which is, you know, it's still an 11% increase over the stock card and the stock card already had 50 megahertz more than the reference card so that's pretty good uh, the memory is uh, outstanding though I was able to overclock it to um, 1550 but that was when I had the uh, the fans running maxed out and I just wanted to use the stock um, fan profile for now 
But other than that, this, the cart still only gets up to 61 degrees because of the automatic um, spinning up of the fans. So right now, let's run... what shall we run first? How about 3D Mark? Be right back. Alright guys, so here are the scores for 3D Mark 11. Uh, sadly though, we didn't get as much of a performance increase as we had in Unigen Heaven. So as you can see, these are the overclocked settings here. So, yeah, there's actually not much of a performance increase here at all. I mean, percent-wise, this is 2%, 1.5 at 2%, something like that. This is almost identical. And then in Fire Strike, you know, this is where we do get a bit of a difference because obviously these tests are pretty easy to run. I mean, these are for cell phones and mobile devices, so you should only be looking at these at the fire strike score yet you know it's still not as much of an inc of an increase as i would have liked to see even though we have gone up quite a lot anyway let's now uh, move on to Cadzilla.
There we go, guys. 1300 and 207 points. Um, that's pretty cool. Um, I wonder if I can see my previous score in this um, thing. Whoopla. Terribly sorry for those guys, this looks incredibly unprofessional. And yes, I do sign in with Facebook. So... Yeah, I don't think this is actually going to give me all my scores that I had in the past. So, let's um, just finish off with our conclusion, shall we? Um, Gigabyte HD, Radeon HD 7970. Um, I'm going to give it the silver award. Um, you know, it's amazing value for money. It looks good, it's quiet, but then there's also a tiny bit of coal wine when um, a lot of stuff is being written to the memory and I don't really like uh, computer parts that make a lot of noise so that's why it only gets a silver award it is up there with the GTX 680 the 7 GTX 770 that sort of stuff so performance wise it's a really really great card right um, so yeah if you have any questions uh, feel free to ask them in the comment area you know, um, any constructive criticism about these videos, you know, how I can make the channel better, please ask it all. And um, thank you very, very much for watching.